Good morning, good morning, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning. Getting on here really quickly to share the good news with you guys on this beautiful Wednesday. Jesus is coming back. Jesus is coming back. We are definitely in the season. Wanted to share this article with you guys from ChristianProphecy.org. Not reading all of it, but um, just going to go over a couple of scriptures with you guys. But the Bible makes it equally clear that those who have the Holy Spirit living in them, that is, those who believe in Jesus as Savior, can understand the nature of the times that mark his return, okay? So let's click on the scripture. And it says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 2 through 6, and this is from the New American Standard Bible. For you yourselves know full well that the day of the Lord will come just like a thief in the night. While they are saying peace and safety, then destruction will come upon them suddenly like labor pains upon a woman with a child, and they will not escape. But you, brethren, are not in darkness, that the day would overtake you like a thief, for you are all sons of light and sons of day. We are not of night nor of darkness. So then, let us not sleep as others do, but let us be alert and sober, Wow. Let us keep awake and be sober, you guys. It is amazing to be living in the times of our soon coming king. It is amazing to be living in the times of our soon coming king. Chap the book of Genesis chapter 6 describes the days of Noah when mankind's minds were focused upon evil. Okay? In the days of Noah, immorality and violence were everywhere. The Apostle Paul spells it out in detail in 2 Timothy. Realize this, that in the last days, difficult times will come. For men will be lovers of self, lovers of money, boastful, arrogant, revilers, disobedient to parents, ungrateful, irreconcilable, malicious gossips, without self-control, brutals, brutal, haters of good, treacherous, reckless, conceited, lovers of pleasures rather than lovers of God. Truly, that is the condition of society today. There is an increase in knowledge, you guys. Okay? There is an increase of no in knowledge. There are signs in our world politics in today. Okay? Spiritual signs, more evidence that Jesus will soon return is that at the end of the age, spiritual signs will abound, okay? Satanism in the form of witchcraft, new age, and the occult. Paul writes in 1 Timothy chapter 4, the spirit explicitly says that in the latter times, some will fall away from the faith, paying attention to deceitful spirits and doctrines of demons. Many churches will become apostate, denying Jesus and ignoring his moral law. But the signs are not all bad news. We are told that there will be some very positive spiritual signs in these end times. Um, and that is in regards to the, the good news of salvation, which will be spread throughout the world. You know, um, you have YouTube and social media sites that are increasing now. And people are able to learn about Jesus and God through social media, through pastors traveling to and fro. And um, we are definitely living in amazing times. There are signs in nature. As a result of all this turning away from God, God will increase the signs of nature, natural disasters of every type increasing greatly in frequency and intensity like birth pains. Luke 21, chapter, uh, verse 11, there will be great earthquakes in various places, plagues and famines. There will be terrors and great signs from heaven. Signs concerning Israel. You guys have, I'm sure, been keeping up 
with what's going on with Israel, and Jerusalem, and the roar and rockets being shot. This is amazing. These are amazing times to be living in. Luke chapter 21, 24, he prophesied that the Jews would be dispersed from Jerusalem and be led captive among the nations. He then said to watch for their return to Jerusalem because when they return, it will mark the season of his return. So there are other prophecies concerning Israel that mark the end times when Jesus will return. One is found in Isaiah 35, where we are told that the decimated and barren land of Israel will flourish once again in fulfillment of this prophecy. Early in the 20th century, the Jewish settlers began to reclaim the land. Today, Israel has become the breadbasket of the Middle East. Wow. God does not wish that any should perish, but that all should be brought to repentance. Second Peter 3 and 9. You know, the doors of salvation are, are closing. And God has given us chance after chance, day after day, to get it right, to repent. Mercy and grace, mercy and grace, mercy and grace. But eventually... The doors of salvation will be closing. So let's hurry up and get that ticket. Get your ticket now because this train is soon to board. You don't want to miss this train that is soon to board, which is called being caught up to see our king, the rapture. Repent for the time for the for our Lord's coming is 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 at hand. Repent. And if you don't know the Lord, we can say this prayer together. Dear Lord, we come to you humbly now asking for forgiveness, Lord. We repent, Lord, of our sins. We believe that Jesus died and rose again on the third day. We thank you for sending your son to redeem us for our sins, Lord. And we ask that you fill us with your spirit, God, your Holy Spirit of comfort, of love, and of peace, God. Burn up any desires or anything that is in us that is not like you, O oh Lord. Let us be willing vessels and tell others about the saving grace of Jesus Christ. I love you guys with the love of Christ. You guys have a good day and tune in for tonight's video. Peace.